A very good morning and uh, welcome to our business update segment of uh, Morning Art and TV. I'm glad that uh, Stephen Mbide is there and was able to describe a road as pothole free within the city. And now that's a damning assessment when it comes to the Kampala Capital City Authority. When people, when they describe a road like that, everyone is like, ah, oh, sure, you mean it's there? That is important and it's very violent uh, feedback. Let's now go into how insurance can supplement savings. Life savings plan is a medium long-term savings plan towards any financial target. Uh, financial freedom simply means two things, being debt free and having a decent amount of savings. But how many of us think of insurance as a saving tool and what are the dynamics involved in this? My guest on Business Update is uh, Badru Bengo, a life and pensions officer at the Uganda Insurers Association. Many thanks for joining us, Mr. Bengo. Uh, thank you so much. How thanks. are you doing? I'm doing well. Insurance, <coughs> savings, being debt free. Insurance alone has what is no doubt an ambiguous Mm. reputation. Mm. Many of us are reluctant to adopt insurance uh, services. You'll be telling us a little bit later how that is being dealt with. But first and foremost, there is a new campaign that you are up to. We were needed. What is We were needed? Okay. We were needed is uh, uh, loosely means to support yourself. Support yourself. Support yourself. Yeah. Okay. In a country like ours where people do not have uh, social uh, protection cushions, mm. unlike people in the, um, um, in the West, so uh, it's, it's incumbent and it's imperative for, for someone mm. to, to, to have an arrangement which is uh, purely financed by himself to give him that bit of cushion in the event that um, um, any sort of uh, uh, disability or any sort of uh, life-threatening condition or yeah. even death yeah. strikes. So at the time when that strikes, then at least you know your family and... Uh, your loved ones, the mm. people you, 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 you wake up to fight for or to provide bread for, will be happy mm. in a way. Yeah. So basically, we really means that we, we, we're just telling the public, we're just um, creating awareness about, uh, about um, um, having this sort of protection policies from insurance company, no, but not only protection policies, but also savings plans. Mm. Yes, that's the campaign. All right, so that ideally is a case of uh, trying to look at already existing insurance products uh, yes and then supplementing them with the ability to save uh, yes aren't you taking on a lenders or some other role that could uh, border on banking yeah that, that's true but w we are all partners in the financial space uh -huh. so if uh, among us, uh, some of the, the values that we provide to our members mm. we provide protection and, 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 and savings then really it's a value add mm. uh, for the public so it's not that insurance companies they are to provide risk risk protection policies mm. but also they can go an extra mile to, to provide that bit of uh, um, uh, savings on top of the, the plants that they are already providing. No doubt this is but just one of the pillars that can improve a saving culture for a country like Uganda. Yes. What else or how best does this fit into the greater goal of ensuring that the average Ugandan learns how and on what parameters to save? Okay, yeah, it's a good one. So what the public needs to understand is that um, insurance companies provide especially life companies, because mm. you see we have life and, and, and non-life. Yeah. Life companies provide uh, protections to individuals, mm. uh, protection to individuals, but then life companies provide uh, uh, protection to aspects which not involve life. Yeah. So, but particularly for life companies, w w where sure. the, the Wewanile support comes in, mm. we, provide, we can provide protection products, we can provide a combination of protection and savings products, mm. and then we can provide uh, also savings, purely savings products. Mm. So, uh, someone or the public is uh, is free to choose which which sort of line. So, if you choose uh. protection, then it means strictly we're speaking about death or disability or critical illness, which is covered in there within a specified period of time. Mm. But if you if you talk about a combination of the two, protection mm. and savings, mm. the endowments, the school. Uh, the, the school insurance policies, yep. education insurance policies, um, um, and then uh, so that provides a, a blend mm. of savings and then protection, meaning mm. that either at the end of the, the, the time the, the time you've saved, then you can enjoy a saving with 
interest. Uh -huh. You can enjoy the, the insurance policy benefit with the interest. All right, that all comes to the fact that if there is social protection or protection, mm -hmm. which ideally goes into social protection, mm -hmm. the ability to be able to have a cushion, like you said earlier, mm -hmm. that plays into a retirement later. Yes. Now, for savings alone, it mm -hmm. could be to help you go through anything that could you know, uh, happen and you're unable to because of existing uh, financial modalities and then the savings plan comes. But could you help us relate it to retirement later yes. in life? Yeah, so now also retirement speaks loosely into this bit of uh, saving because see, in, in a country like ours where mm. um, um, apart from the around 400,000 Ugandans who mm. are under the public service, yeah. Uh, who have an, an assured retirement that pensions package, yeah, arrangement, pension yeah. arrangement, then if you put at almost two million savers with NSSF, mm. almost two million. Almost. Yeah. Uh, uh, still, the yeah. number is yeah. very. Yeah, very, it's very, very, very high. Small, yeah. yeah, it's very small. Mm. So th that speaks about almost um, um, 20 million Ugandans don't have uh, sort of uh, the different various uh, retirement packages or mm. plans which are quite formal. They could be there, but they may not be formal. They are not even recognized by uh, Ubra. So in this arrangement, still under the Wanili campaign, not only you're buying a life policy, not only you're buying a savings policy with an insurance company, but also you can reciprocate that mm. into a retirement package. Either you approach an insurance company and buy a retirement package, which you can save for as low as 30000 okay. per month. You know, we are talking about 30,000 30, per, per month. 30,000 per month. And then you're assured of a decent retirement package, mm. maybe at 50 or 60 years. So that loses it translates into 1,000 shillings per day. 1,000 oh. shillings per day. That so one attends to the very least. Yes, to the very least. Okay. To the very least. Now mm. we're talking about that average Ugandan who does not have a formal job, who, mm. who does not have any, any bit of uh, uh, sort of uh, um, uh, structured form of saving. Yeah. So basically, we are talking about someone who can come to our companies and then buy such a product mm. to be able to not only save and have protection against those life-threatening risks, but mm. also have a package which can now reciprocate into a retirement into plan a retirement and with plan. a very little amount of money. Okay. Yes. So what is the procedure that uh, one has to follow while saving at the same time mm. getting insured? Yes, so it depends on what you choose. Mm. You can choose, because see, like I've, I've told you, saving, or rather saving for retirement, mm. it doesn't need to be quite cumbersome. Ah. Because I've said that you can put aside a thousand shillings. A thousand. You're talking about a thousand shillings a, a, okay. a day. So, I mean, this shouldn't be a big burden for mm. someone who is really, um, who has that long-term sort of perspective. Oh, because okay. putting a, a, a aside a thousand shillings. Yeah, there are those you, who are yeah. struggling, no yes, doubt. Yeah, yeah. yeah. You, 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 you might not feel that much mm. in, um, uh, pain. But uh, we're talking about, so you can have all this package mm. at a one-stop sort of center. Okay. So you can choose to save, you can choose to buy a retirement package, or you can choose to have a blend, a blend of the two, saving and retirement. Mm. And, and at the end of the period, you can now transfer that whole amount into a retirement plan. Mm. So you might have the feel that, okay, I've saved, mm. but maybe I'm still in employment yeah. at the end of the period. I'm still in employment. I don't need this sort of money. So then you can reciprocate that into a, a retirement plan mm. by buying an annuity. And okay. that annuity also comes with a, um, a host of other things. Okay. Allow me to take advantage of uh, having an expert in insurance, especially mm. on uh, life insurance. There is the adage that life insurance can be sold but must not be bought. Mm. In other words, in the process of letting a client uh, take on this, there isn't uh, the need to either cajole them into mm. the life insurance aspect of it. Can you just help me shed light on that before we finalize with the well, one needed a campaign? Okay, yeah, that, that talk has been there, that mm. insurance is sold, yeah. sold but not but both. Not both. Yes, but, but li literally this means that uh, we, we want the public to understand what sort of contract they are going into. Ah, okay. Be because you see, just like uh, any other contract, insurance mm. supported by the contract laws of the country. That's right. Yeah, so it means that you go into an arrangement with another party, mm. and each party, party A and party B, have obligations towards each other or towards that sort of uh, arrangement that they have gone into. Mm. So it's paramount that someone who is buying a life policy understands 
the, the sort of obligations, mm. the sort of uh, uh, responsibility that he has to fulfill yeah. in, uh, in, uh, in the attainment of uh, whatever has been agreed on. Mm. So it has been left the fact that uh, me, I bought a life policy, I bought an insurance policy. Mm. All I know is that I'm supposed to get this amount of money. So mm. that amount of money is not per se that amount of money. Mm. It also goes with the fulfillment of uh, some related obligations, mm -hmm. which now we want the public to understand that it's not just about thinking that I have a life policy, mm -hmm. but there is more to it mm -hmm. in terms of uh, fulfillment of uh, the premium obligations, in terms of uh, ultimate uh, uh, at most good faith, mm -hmm. that's good disclosure of uh, uh, the, the circumstances around yourselves. That's right. Yeah, so a number of uh, these, these arrangements. So basically, that's, mm -hmm. what, so that's what we are trying to push. Mm -hmm. That it's not about just buying, but also understand, understand the contract the or contract. the sort of arrangement that you have gone into with uh, another party. Now, this is a question that uh, ideally I wouldn't ask a preacher, especially when it comes to a gospel that they are preaching. But we were needed a, or get a grip to this whole thing is a convenient vehicle into improving uptake of uh, insurance services in the country. Mm. How does this effectively play into the the uh, wider objective? Yeah, so this ultimately goes, it's, it's going to speak into the, the, the wider advocacy plans that we have. Okay. So w we have read all our members mm. to have uh, activations at the different locations yeah. but also to to run more of uh, digital campaigns mm. and digital billboards and also we have uh, rallied behind some media houses to support this campaign so mm. it does not only speak to uia mm -hmm. because for us we are an umbrella body yeah. but also speaks to those individual various companies mm. that also provide this uh, sort of uh, um, uh, um, products or packages so they are also on board mm. such that as they also campaign as they do different activations across the country Mm. then equally all that feeds into the, 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 the awareness of um, uh, increased uptake of life insurance. But also this will be coupled by the fact that we, 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 we shall have uh, a physical camp somewhere in eastern Uganda where also a, a physical a physical camp physical camp yes, a physical yeah. camp where we shall bring on board the different entities the different mm -hmm. players that we are talking about yeah shall be stationed somewhere and we shall be rallying people to come and then we speak is about it okay to share that information where <laughs> it will be in Bali okay yes Bali towards the end of uh, May or early June mm. where now we shall rally all the companies we shall do media campaigns mm. in, the, in the, the various media houses in the region such so that now we, we, we bring services close up to people in the Sunny Uganda mm. and we talk about a host of these uh, packages that, are, that, that our members are providing from okay. uh, saving, from buying risk policies, also towards uh, uh, having. All right, uh, allow me to put you on the spot because uh, inevitably being a journalist, I need to ask the hard questions. <laughs> and uh, when you encounter <coughs> an insurance executive, it's about time that some of these uh, aspects about insurance are debunked. There is a tendency apparently by some insurance companies not to want to quickly be able to roll out whatever uh, packages they have for people and instead appear to be working against their clients not to be able to pay back or get them back on their feet especially if they've uh, uh, faced a disaster a fire an accident mm -hmm. why are insurance companies reluctant to pay back but very aggressive when it comes to getting those getting packages? <laughs> it depends on the way you, you look at it. It depends ah, on the way you look okay. at it. Because we, we, we have also cases where people are happy. We've paid out uh, COVID packages, we've paid out death packages, we've mm. paid out uh, disability packages. Right. And uh, you, you know, we've also had a challenge because people, you know, once we pay them, rather once we pay out, people don't want to come out in the open and say that me was given 100 million. You're you know, the to ones to tell <laughs> us, uh, yes. yeah, we paid so and so, and uh, this is a good story. Uh, uh, but we never hear that. Uh, yes, because also the but you love to emblaze on those that you, yeah, you that don't want to pay in yeah, the that papers. Yeah, th that those we've paid. But uh -huh. also it speaks to the fact that this is an arrangement okay. where people ought to understand their obligations. You mm. may find that some of these cases people have not fulfilled their ah, part of the package. All right. And for them they have laid back and thought mm. that maybe you know, yeah. I'll be paid. They're so if they the get a problem, and then, yeah. so it speaks to the fact that you need to understand mm. the sort of contract. That's like the way you have a tenancy agreement with the, with the landlord. Mm. So you agree that oh, I'll be paying at this period, uh, I'll be paying uh, at this point in time. Your obligation as a landlord is provide security, maybe provide water, provide this, we keep the house in, in shape, in order. And then me, 
many as, as the, 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 the tenant have also to provide A, B, C, D. So it's, it's, it's two ways, it's mm. not one way. Okay. Though people largely think that's the other way, me, I've done my part, so I have to get relaxed until, until when I get a problem. You find that that problem that person has got mm. is not even in the contract. It's uh, not stipulated right. in the contract as something which can precipitate payment. Okay, so it's important to pay <coughs> attention, attention to the detail. Yes, and understand your rights uh, as, right. as a policy holder. That goes yes, back yeah. to the fact that some of the contracts are as long as 10 pages and the reading uh, could be a bit uh, problematic. Now, let's wrap this up and uh, give me your final words on this particular one. And also explain as to why you're not considering using Lunyole from Butaleja and you've chosen Wewanidi in Uganda. <laughs> yes, Wewanidi because we think it largely resonates with the, mm. with, with the, with the Montua Wansi. Okay. And uh, you, you see even if you go to Palisa of Dhaka, mm. uh, with your Uganda you can navigate around. <laughs> 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 so, okay. but, but, but what's quite important <coughs> is that if there's anyone who has um, um, an issue with an insurance company, raise your mm. complaint mm. so that we can be able to take you through why maybe uh, your, your, your policy was, uh, your, your claim was not honored or mm. why it was not settled, but it's quite imperative that you ought to understand and we can be able to, 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 to provide this sort of uh, feedback and we can be able to relate with our members on why uh, some aspects we are not, uh, we, 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 we are not um, um, put in play. But it's quite important also for the public to reach out to us mm. at uh, our toll-free number, which is 0800, that is 0800, mm -hmm. uh, 10, Five zero five zero. Make it easy for the public to reach you guys in insurance. Yes. When you put on the suits and uh, you're so mean in those uh, lobbies where there is a lot of AC, the average uh, uncle to Chris Higeni can't approach. <laughs> so you're going to have to work on it. Just mm. before you came on air, we were talking to one of the uh, persons uh, who are within the dwarf community and mm. uh, they spoke about the fact that banks are not even consider it on mm. the height of the ATM ATMs, yeah. <laughs> machines mm -hmm, mm -hmm. and when they make those complaints as to mm. how they should access money they are told to ask the guard. So yeah. some of the things are small but they need to be worked on. Yeah. 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 All right many thanks. Bengo Badru, technical officer, life and uh, pensions at the Uganda Insurers Association. Many thanks for the perspective and of course giving us a little bit more enlightenment on the Rwanda program and the need to adopt a saving as a complement to insurance in your life. That will do it for our business update. You're watching Morning at NTV. So, this is where it all began. Those styles weren't working. So we made something better. And you didn't stop there. We knew we weren't changing the world with our clothes. But the women who wear them might. And you went from playing with dolls <laughs> to, to becoming, becoming a fashion powerhouse. We see you great. Katukuyane. Okuse Sam. With APSA Business Banking. Speak to us about how we can help you get it done. That's Africanacity. That's APSA. Coming soon on NTV. St. Francis Junior School, Budo. Palace Junior School, Mother Manjari Primary School. Our Lady of Africa Junior School, Bukasa. We are GMS, GMS because we care. No hesitation, deviation, or repetition. What is the quotient of 45 and 5? 9. Correct. A car covered a distance of 64 kilometers in two hours. At what speed was it moving? 32 kilometers per hour. Correct. Which political party won the first multi-party elections in Uganda? Democratic Party. Uganda People's Congress. Which country is the smallest in Africa? Hills. Correct. You should reach across the table for a dish. False. False. This is the face-to-face -face school quiz. Big and better.
chale chitali mwe sikuwa sikuwa chizi kilira na senga kuchikwa ya kumila rubaro umuliro tutahenda kukere kwa vitono nyo sivi inji jori eyo eliyebi kwenye gabi inji bie wandi agato kukere ko obodi ya obichu keko na hika fumenti ya kiyambi aba sawo ba wano ebintu byekalamye engudo te muzifako omwoza musolo omusolo gulagawa wabula obulidwa bo stule dobo zilyo lituke kube chikwata ko nzize kujaya anti bangamba polling station ya jeno rondera ko yeno nawo bango byo sina kulondera wo akanyomero ko akayugera na fe kakomyewo beye bintu banange boda kusabuni ye kayeka cha saving ana sente abakazi bagala kunoba ira kadde kona tuli ba kukutuka ko kuchalocho otese kubikuruma kabane Bia bofuzi, bia mfuna, bia maka, oben songe ndara yona. Abachara wa mwenchi leto obuzi, cheba kola. Atema tuongeze ne kusente, zaka meza, katiba tulekele obusente mtono ebitu vya bey. Kwe bata chigambie, ya gamba antigundi atade bigambo. Ebi vyo, bia ugele na fe. Kusababu enkanya. Buliru wakuna ku enti vya kaungezi. Yogele na fe. watching morning at NTV all right it's about time that we sign out for this uh, Thursday the 30th of March uh, 2023 we're gonna have to leave you with uh, food for thought there's a lot that is going on in this country and wherever you are it could be a position of power it could be a position of influence you could be the person that is going to ensure that the next either leaves or lives a better life and gets what they want. We are urging you, with all the power that you have, with all the influence and the ability to do what you choose to do, that you opt and elect to do the right thing. Because many times, those that are depending on us are powerless. They even have no idea how to fight for themselves. And you have been given the opportunity the blessing to be able to decide for them. You could decide things that could end a generation, things that could cripple a life. So be blessed, seek favor from the Lord as you make that decision. I'm Chris Higeni on behalf of my colleague Priscilla Regina Naloga and indeed the team behind the scenes that ensures it's a smooth ride Monday to Friday. It's been a pleasure having your company. We shall see you tomorrow. Have yourselves a lovely day. <laughs>